Oh wait. Wrong song, sorry. <laughs> Krishma, back again with another YouTube video just for you. So I am those type of people who like to go all out on the holidays, specifically for Christmas and Halloween. I love to go all out in like decorations and dressing up and just getting all festive, you know? So every year when it becomes October 1st or December 1st, I get festivities on. I don't know if that was correct. So just a little heads up, um, I was sick during this video, so if I sound sick, or if I look sick, or if I'm just like a little loopy acting, it's because of the medicine and because I'm sick, so yeah, okay. Continue with the video. So every year I really do like to go all out, I'll go out and buy stuff, I'll get all glittery and I'll become a hot mess under glitter and make sure that my whole room is just decorated and suffocated by Halloween and Christmas. I'm usually not like a big DIYer, like I won't like just like randomly like DIY like a homemade pillow usually unless I'm like feeling it, you know, but not really. Usually I'll just go out and, and buy a pillow. <laughs> but when it comes to festivity, that's when I really like to DIY and I like to put my own craft work into things. Usually I go out and I'll go out to the dollar store and I'll just pick out whatever I want or I'll go out to Walmart and I got all my craft sections everywhere or Michaels or wherever you go to get all your main crafts and just go all out. But one year, um, for my senior year, I was in boarding school across the other world and I was very limited on my supplies. The only supplies that I had was whatever they gave us in the dorms or in school. So I was like, nope, I am not going to give up. This year I will celebrate both my Christmas and my Halloween and the tradition of my traditions will not stop just because my supplies are more limited this year. So I gathered everything that I could find. I just got to work. So I went and I looked onto Pinterest as usual and Google, trying to find all the ideas that I could find to put together of what the little things that I could have. So it took a lot of work, but at the end I thought, oh my gosh, this looks so like not what I usually do. It just is, it's lacking. It's, it's umph, you know, for festivity. But I made all of my artwork purposely to face, to put on the window and to face outside so that everybody outside when they're passing by our dorms could like enjoy it because we were like one of the second dorm to be passed so a lot of the middle schoolers and some of the high schoolers had to pass our dorms to go into our dorm into our dorm building and then sometimes they would have to keep going to go to the other dorm building pass so people always have to pass by our building. So I was hoping they would always enjoy the decorations that I put up. And as cool as it was, I still thought it was okay and not the best decorated, but I went ahead and I put it up. And then one day, me and my roommate, we were just sitting around and all of a sudden we heard a bunch of girls screaming. <laughs> and we went to look down and they had gone already, I don't know where they went. And next thing we knew, they were like, these group of girls who came in and they were like, is that your decoration? So I was like, yeah. They were like, that scared the heck out of us. And I was like, well, thank you. I, um, uh, I tried. <laughs> but, like I said, I was living in all my resources and still did a banging job at the end, apparently. Um, so I thought, you know what, why not make a tutorial about, you know, like a whole video on how to do a cheap DIY Halloween video. Because every DIY that I see, they're just like, you get a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of random materials, with, which is what I did used to do when I wasn't limited on my resources. And then when I was limited on my resources, I realized I could do a whole bunch and save a bunch of money. But if you're out there and you're limited on your resources and prices, let me just show you what I did on my limited, my limited, not limited, my limited resources. This isn't supposed to be a serious video, just take it as a, it's a fun, lighthearted video. So without further ado, grab your popcorn, grab your snacks, grab your drink, turn on some Halloween music, movies, whatever, get yourself in the Halloween mood, get your supplies that I'm about to show you, and let's get started. My limited resources were paper towels, some craft paper, you know, the thicker the better, and then rope. But I couldn't find my rope, so all I have is sewing string, which is fine. Even more limited to my resources, if that's all you have. 
I prefer rope because it just goes better with the Halloween theme. And of course you're gonna need paint brushes. And when you need paint brushes, brushes, when you need paint brushes, you're gonna need paint colors. Then of course, because you're gonna need something to cut the string and to cut the paper, you're gonna need some scissors. Just to make sure that all your colors are washed out of your brushes so that you can use another color, you're gonna need a bowl of water. Okay, and then on top of that, lesson learned that I learned here, okay? <laughs> take from the lessons that I have... Take from the mis... That's what it is. Take the mistakes that I have learned that I'm turning them into lessons. Wow, that did not make sense. I don't know if that's a medicine talking or me, so I'm gonna blame it on the medicine. I don't know how to speak English. Take the mistakes that I have made and I'm gonna turn it into a lesson and tell you to make sure you have something underneath when you are painting. I had a room to myself and my smart self thought, because <laughs> I was also splattering, there's some stuff where I needed to splatter and it, everything just went all over everywhere and my roommate came back to stained floors and doors. I couldn't get it out. Or I could not get anything out. I like could wipe it all up but it stained everything so none of her stuff stained. It was just the floor and, and the doors. So yeah. First thing we're gonna want to cut out are some nice small pumpkins because that's what we're gonna put on the string to hang up. So we're just gonna like cut this out I feel like a DIYer, a mediocre, low-budgeted DIYer. You know, most of my friends right now, well, they're either still not in college, but majority of them are in college, and you know, they're all like majoring in like business, and like one or two are doing medical, or business, or business or business, or engineer, or, or business, and I'm just over here making YouTube videos on how to make Halloween decorations on their limited resources. I'm not complaining. I shouldn't complain. I'm not going to complain. I like it. It just feels very not as educational as my friends. Although I would not want to be in college right now, I'm going to be honest with you. If I was in college right now, it's like what, October, I'd still be in school, and uh, what would I be doing? October 1st, so there's still plenty of school, so I'd probably be like studying for like a major test. Not gonna happen, not something I would want to do right now, you know? Just saying. It's not really something interesting that I would have no, no. I think I'd rather be doing this. Alright, now that we got all those pumpkins made, next thing we're going to need is a witch's hat, of course, right? Because witches, Halloween. Alright, and there you have it, our witch's hat. I really do feel like a kindergarten teacher. Is this how DIYers all feel? So, what you're going to need is your string, your rope, and your paper towel. And this is when we're going to make a ghost. And let's see if we can need this. That's pretty good. I forget how I like really made the head of the ghost because I don't want it to be pointy, right? And then I guess there you have it. Alright, so then you want to make it your ghost little neck to be tied together so that it stays. And of course, to make it a little bit more ghostly, we have to add some ghost eyes and a ghost mouth to our little ghost yeah, that's good <laughs> see finally done painting every single witch hat and pumpkin all right so now we have our string for our window and then we have our string for our ghost and our string the string that we're gonna hang the ghost on basically and the string that we're gonna put like the pumpkins and the witches hat. I'm gonna do these and then I'm gonna show you like the end result. I would just like to say that this is going terribly awful. I was trying to hang up all my decorations to show you guys 
and I was mid taping it across there. You can see the evidence of the tape. And then it just fell. It just kept falling every time. And everything is just falling apart. I mean, at least my ghosts look really well. I can try to like hang those little dudes up, right? Like tear this pumpkin apart. Get rid of that and like hang the little ghost up. You see the frustration? You feel the frustration. This is not how it went before when I first hung up my decorations in dorms. But you know what? We're not going to give up, okay? I do not give up, alright? What we're going to do is we're just going to hang up the ghosts. Right now. We're just going to hang up the ghosts, okay? That's all we have left. Those are the only survivors. This is just turning into a failure, alright? Even hanging up these ghosts. We're just going to have to see what it looks like from outside. But we'll move on to part two, which was the highlight of my decoration and dorms like that's what that's what people mostly love like they like this but they really liked when I made the rest of peace signs and the hands so it looked really spooky from outside so that can be a fail that this was only a fail because it's just so hard with the string falling and connecting everything so literally all I did for this to make rest in peace signs was to just like make it as big as I could and then just like round it off and then that's it that's literally it and then I would cut it out I painted gray I put rest in peace blah 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 whatever I wanted to and then like I put it on there so that can't be a fail you know that that can't that just cannot be a fail and if it is a fail it's just gonna be a failure video that's what it's gonna be all right so literally just paint it gray I remember like in class when the teachers would give an example of our assignment when it was like a drawing or anything like creative and they just like be up front painting or drawing something that to me that was like ASMR back then because they just like watching them just like concentrate and paint it was just very very soothing now I'm going to show you how I make a hand so what I'm going to do is for planning is I'm going to have the hand um, coming out of the grays, making it look like it comes out of the grays. And so what I do is I just trace my hand and voila! So I got my big hand. So I'm going to make more of these, but what I do is I don't keep it white. I go ahead and paint it all black just to make it look creepy and spooky, you know? I think that's what really spooked them. These hands coming out of tombstones in a window. Like, basically like shadows is what they look like. So I want to make it like as dark as possible. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say my neighbors get spooked. It was like fine for, my, for everybody at dorms to get spooked, but now it's like my neighbors might not like that. <laughs> artistic. Very crafty and artistic. I think we should go downstairs and see how it looks like from out there. Yeah, because it's not looking so good from up here. I can't even see it. Look. Is there like a way to like switch off the sun so I can like see my decorations? Alright, so seven hours later and it is finally dark outside. 
take a second to uh, look at my raccoon eyes that I didn't even bother to wipe off. Like, what you doing? You good? So first we have to put the light on and suddenly scare the neighbors and hopefully not our little old lady next door. Dear God, I hope not. And this is what it looked like in our dorms. And we were like, this totally does not look scary. And yet everybody thought it was scary and girls were and guys and girls and guys were all screaming. Look at that. That looks adorable. That looks more adorable than it does scary. Oh, okay. There's a, there's a shadow hands. Okay. I guess I could see why in dorms it looks. Sometimes I wonder what my neighbors actually think of me. Like, oh honey, she's doing it again. But this time she's putting tissue paper all over the windows. Should I call the hospital now to tell them to come pick her up? Yeah. Okay. But I can honestly see why everybody at dorms got really scared and spooked out. Because they can, when you don't expect it when you go and you're like, oh, you realize what it is. It's it's all cool and good anyways so yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the booty yeah <laughs> and I will see you guys next time